Alright, my tipper motor is not working for some reason. The solenoid is clicking, but the motor isn't turning at all, so I uh, don't quite know what's going on. I'll take that cap off and have a look. It might be the brushes burned out or something. Um, hopefully something simple. Just put a mark on that so I know where it's lined up. Okay, got a bit of water in there. That's not looking too flash. Quite corroded. Hmm, that's a bit of a problem. I wonder how that water's getting in there. It's obviously been apart before and I've tried to seal it up because there's like uh, silicon sealant around it. Um, probably should really drill a hole in the bottom if I get it going. I'll have to undo that, I think. That back plate. Disconnect some cables. Does that come out of there? Yeah. So it's just that cable there, that should be long enough. There's quite a bit of water in there. Yeah, so that shaft is spinning freely. It doesn't sound too bad. I'm hoping it's just the brushes that are worn out. Those are, yeah, it's been, been wet for a while by the look of it. Does that back piece come off? How many brushes are there? So, could be four. Yeah, four brushes. That's looking rather crusty in there, isn't it? You can see in there that commutator is looking quite badly worn out, so I'll see if I can pull that out of there and um, clean it up. Out of that commutator, it's not looking too healthy. It's looking uh, a wee bit pitted in there, so it's not ideal. Pretty beefy wiring in there, doesn't look like anything's burned out there. Bearings are all good. I've got some sandpaper here, I'll just give that a quick touch up. There's still a few scratches on it, but I think that's going to be fine now.
you can see those brushes in there they look quite worn out and some of them are stuck seized up so if I can get those moving again might have a chance That one there is seized. Let's see if I can give it a bit of a prod. So I think because it's been wet in there, the water has sort of corroded everything and um, seized it all up. Oh, that one's moving. <laughs> Went a little bit far though. So that's good. So that's three of them freed up. Just that last one there that's not coming loose. freed it up so they're all nice and free and they look like they've got plenty of length left on them so I think they'll be okay just give it a good blast in there hopefully stop that rust so we're gonna have to stop that water getting in somehow Pushing the brushes back on their springs um, to allow the shaft back in. Alright, just have to slide that bearing in now. Got it. moment of truth Let's see what happens Aha. that's sounding better than ever much better Problem solved. So it was just those stuck brushes that weren't contacting the commutator properly, and that was caused by 
water getting in there and corroding it. it looks like they have tried to seal it up before um, I think the best way to do it is probably just put a little cover over it to keep the rain out and um, then yeah you know no water's going to get in there so just like a little container or something over that that should do it because uh, I don't want to risk water getting in there again it's obviously quite detrimental to it and I'm guessing those are quite expensive to replace so yeah I'll just fabricate a little cover over that and see where the water was up to that rust line there so it's obviously had water sitting in there and um, it can't get out so if I drill a hole in the bottom of that then any water that does get in is going to drain out so I'll do that now So any water that gets in there should drain out of that groove fairly quickly. Have you fixed it? Yep. Yeah. A tip of truck is okay now. Yep. Okay. I have to make a little raincoat for that motor though because yeah. it, keeps, it keeps getting water in it. Yeah. Which is no good. Yeah, it's no good. Yeah. I hate getting water in cars. Right. I would look after this car. Yeah. We need to put some sort of plastic cover over that and yep. it should be good. Yep. It'll yeah. be good. All right, that'll keep the rain off the motor. So, shouldn't have any more problems now. And I can still work on the motor if I need to by just lifting the deck up. Right, should we test it out? Yep. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, not too high. All good? Yeah. It's working. Yeah. <laughs> Sorted, mate. Thank you.